If you're planning to settle in the Philippines, chances are you've thought about the educational system in the country from primary school to tertiary education. Unfortunately though, not a lot of channels talk about this enough, so we're here to answer your questions about the top universities in the Philippines. What's up savvy expats? It's me again, Isabella. In today's video, we'll get to see the top 4 universities in the Philippines called the Big Four and get to compare each of them with one another. So without further ado, let's dive in. When it comes to the outside world, the Philippines is seen as a tropical paradise that's bountiful with beaches, good food, and amazing people. For a lot of people thinking of settling here, what comes first to mind would be their long-term accommodations. Where's the best place to live in? Where to get groceries and other necessities? Or where's the best place to hang out? For people who are looking to settle with their family, the questions about living here gets more complicated. Not only will you be looking for accommodations, but also think about the future of your family. One of these questions is about education. What we usually want to know when choosing the best education either for our children or for us are a university's ranking, available academic majors, tuition and miscellaneous fees, location, facilities, and amenities. For people who already have a degree in mind, looking at the university's available degree programs is one of the top criteria to look into. Different universities specialize in different programs, so it's best to consider which university tops in the program you want to specialize in. For medicine-related courses, the University of Santo Tomas is the first school that comes to mind, but we'll talk about more of that later on. Looking at the tuition and miscellaneous fees are also a big factor in choosing a university, if not the biggest one. Some universities are affordable and even match the quality of education that higher-end schools offer. Keep in mind that in the Philippines, the cost of a university education is not a reflection of its quality. Many universities such as the University of the Philippines, Philippine Normal University, and Mindanao State University offer great education with affordable tuition fees. Another thing to consider is if the transportation to get there and home would be easy or if there are alternative modes of transportation aside from taking a private car. Also, aside from the quality of education, another factor that affects learning is the availability of the facilities and the amenities. Does the university have a world-class library, a fitness gym, a vast dining hall offering variety? These are important factors that can influence your decision in choosing a university. Now that we tackled the different criteria, let's move on to the top 4 Philippine universities. Known as the Big Four, the University of the Philippines, Ateneo de Manila University, De La Salle University, and the University of Santo Tomas are known as the leading universities in the Philippines to secure spots in the Cacorelli Simmons rankings. We have the University of Santo Tomas as our top four with a world ranking between 1,001 to 1,200 in the Cacquarelli Simmons 2022 University Rankings. UST is the oldest university in both the Philippines and Asia, which was established in 1611. In fact, it is so old that the Philippine national hero Dr. Jose Rizal studied medicine here. UST is also known as one of the biggest Catholic universities in the world and is the second university to be granted the formal title of Pontifical University by Pope Leo XIII. The university is mostly known for its medicine degrees, where its graduates dominate the top 10 board exams in medicine, nursing, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. The university also prides itself on dominating board exams in engineering, architecture, accountancy, and education. There are also facilities that students can use at the university, including its communal spaces, open fields, chapels, and libraries. UST also has its own museum, gym, and auditorium. For tuition fees, a bachelor's degree costs around 100,000 to 120,000 pesos per year, with the university having a semester structure. De La Salle University is third on our list with a world ranking between 801 to 1,000. De La Salle or DLSU is a private Roman Catholic research university founded by the Brothers of Christian Schools in 1911. The university's name was a tribute to John Baptist de la Salle, the patron saint of teachers who was a French educator of poor students who sought to teach them the Christian spirit. The university is known for its programs in business, engineering, and liberal arts, and was also the top-ranking engineering and technology school in 2019 and 2020. The school also boasts a near 100% passing rate in board exams in education, 
engineering, accountancy, and technicians with a licensure exam for elementary teachers garnering a 100% passing rate. While DLSU is known to have the smallest campus among the big four, it doesn't mean that students get to have less fun in the campus. In fact, DLSU houses facilities such as the Henry C. Senior Hall, where the university library is located. It also has its own chapels, a state-of-the-art museum, gym, and several spacious auditorium and has separate facilities per department. Students also enjoy the bracing breezes at the Corazon Aquino Democratic Space under the Henry C. Building. For tuition fees, a bachelor's degree costs around 205,000 to 225,000 pesos a year with the university adopting a trimester term structure. The Ateneo de Manila University is also a private research university that ranks 601 to 650 in the world ranking. Founded in 1859, Ateneo was established by Spanish Jesuits in the country and is also one of the oldest universities in the Philippines since this is also where Dr. Jose Rizal studied. Like the other four universities, Ateneo has a rich history that was influenced by the Spanish colonization and the American colonization. Ateneo was originally located in Padre Fora, Manila before it relocated to its current place in Quezon City as several Ateneo campuses opened their doors. Ateneo's curriculum is heavily influenced by its motto, Lux in Domino or Light in the Lord, which sees God as the center of a person's life. Learning in Ateneo is truly a different experience since you can see the school's values not just in their curriculum but also in the way they uphold campus rules and their outreach activities. The university provides a wide range of academic programs in the four schools, namely humanities, management, science and engineering, and the social sciences, all taught mostly in English. True to its name for being the top two university in the country, Ateneo boasts a near 100% passing rate in exams such as real estate appraiser, physician, chemistry, and has 100% passing rates in secondary teaching and guidance counseling exams. I think that these results speak enough for how outstanding the education of Ateneo actually is. As someone who studied at DLSU, the university usually known to rival Ateneo especially during the university athletic competitions, I can say that these results are impressive knowing fully how difficult it is to pass board exams here in the country. For its tuition fees, a bachelor's degree costs around 160 to 180,000 pesos per year depending on the program taken. And like the other top universities, Ateneo boasts top-notch facilities such as libraries, museums, theaters, a gym and sports complex, cafeterias, and even housing facilities. Lastly, we have the University of the Philippines or UP which holds the first place among all universities in the Philippines. The University of the Philippines is the country's national university and was established in 1908 by the government. It has become the leading university in terms of academic excellence and quality learning. From being a small institution with only three colleges for fine arts, liberal arts, and medicine, UP grew into one, if not the most prestigious university in the Philippines. Now it has 26 colleges and institutes for different programs and fields of study. What's more is that UP boasts its campus as having the largest land area in the whole of the Philippines. While UP has several branches scattered across the country, the fact that even its main campus, UP Diliman, remains the largest among the big four says a lot about it. It has its own jeepney system, an academic oval, and is home to around 24,000 students, taking around 370 academic programs. To be specific, UP Diliman boasts a 493-hectare campus, which is far larger than any of the three campuses mentioned previously. UP is great at providing education. You can definitely see it in their board exam rankings in the country where the university boasts a 100% passing rate in electronics technicians, electrical engineering, real estate consultant, nutritionist dietitian, and librarian licensure examination. A lot of their other courses like mining engineering and architecture licensure exams also boasts a 99% passing rate. What's also amazing about UP is that aside from offering quality education and a spacious campus, it has the lowest tuition fee among the four. And by lowest, what I mean is that it's free. Amazing, right? But be aware that because of this amazing opportunity, UP admissions are highly competitive with around 70,000 applicants taking the University of the Philippines College Admission Test or OPCAT yearly. 
Among the 70,000 applicants, only 18% of them or 11,000 students pass this rigorous entrance exam. While it may dissuade you to apply for the top university, it doesn't actually hurt to try because there are many courses available for you to choose from. One thing I've learned about university entrance exams here in the country is that the most popular and in-demand courses are the ones that are the most difficult to get into. And usually that's engineering, biology, computer science, and business. And that's it for the big four universities in the Philippines. We've discussed some of the features of the big four such as tuition fees, amenities, and their unique qualities. Of course, there's still plenty of things to consider when choosing the right university, but I hope that this video enlightened you about the big four universities of the Philippines. If you have some questions about the college education in the country, you can ask them in the comment section below and we can answer some of your queries. If you liked this video, you can subscribe to our channel for more videos about the Philippines. Once again, I'm Isabella and see you guys next time!